Hello guys, if you came to this video, you're probably wondering, is the Blood Fairy worth it? And I hope this video will help you figure out whether or not it is worth it for you. Because it is a little complicated, so I'll try my best. Anyways, I used up two whole Blood Fairies in this video. So that's 20,000 charges. Mm-hmm, 20,000. So yeah, lots and lots of hours put in here to uh, find out all the tips and tricks and all the nuances of how to make the blood fear useful and if it is useful. I certainly did find some uses for myself. So there are two ways to get the blood shard outside of the GE. The first one is very AFK. You just AFK and kill via sentinels. It'll probably take around 10 hours. The other way is faster but no AFK thieving method. You just steal from the citizens in Dartmire. It's about 1 in 8 hours if you have like the best stats and diaries done. With rogues you can get 2. Uh, in 8 hours, so it's like 1 in 4, so it's up to you. Both are fine, uh, AFK method or the faster not AFK method. Yo, let me just show you guys how cool uh, this setup is. Uh, it's crazy, 165 crush. Wow, that's insane! The blister wood's only like, not even half of the crush bonus, what in the hell? It's perfect man, it's perfect for just getting some blood shards man, it was destiny boys. Whoa, I just got my second blood shard, hell yeah guys. I'm just editing videos and stuff, so honestly, this is really great, uh, AFK, so. Yo, another blood shard, dude, what's going on? That's crazy, I probably should only have like one or two. Oh my god, I got another blood shard, what in the f What the heck? Alright guys, you can call me the big ladle. Uh, I honestly get to- Oh! Do you see what I mean? I got another blood shard though. So this is so AFK that I can basically put full attention on something else. I was playing Breath of the Wild and um, I got hit by my own bomb. So yeah, it was a little trigger, but so AFK. I just wait for the little rune light uh, ping sound to tell me I got a good drop. So the Blood Fairy got buffed from a 1% effective healing rate with melee only to a 6% healing rate with melee only. So yeah, it's now six times better than what it was. However, it's still the grace of dust after 10,000 successful hits. So, yes, it is quite expensive to use. Anyways, I have two big bosses I'm going to be testing at. The first one is going to be at core for the suicide method. And the second place is going to be at Nightmare. I still need things from these two bosses. And I think the Blood Fairy has a lot of potential to be helpful for the grind. And hopefully you guys will be able to learn a lot about the Blood Fairy through my test. Damn, this kill was insane. Like, I I have a minute left and I barely used any food on the ground. And I still have all this food on my inventory. God damn, the healing rate is nuts. Oh my god, dude. We got the core pets. Bro, bro, bro. That just happened while testing for the blood fairy. What the f***? We just got the core pet. Uh, guys, let's get out of here, dude. Holy shit. Dude, we just got one of the rarest pets of all time. Like, for real. Holy crap, boys. I kid you not. Let me let me see. Let me see. It's not like I haven't been playing a lot, right? So let's let's look real quick. Chompy. Okay, that doesn't really count. That's like, you know, that's that's cheating. That that pet's like a guaranteed pet. Alright. Yeah, basically four and a half months ago. Uh yeah, so man, that that's crazy, man. That's that's actually crazy. And it's a really, really, really good pet, so. Alright, this thing's got uh, two sick forms. Let me see if I can just talk to the, the normal one. Got any sigils for me? I kind of need the spectral, so. The core shakes his head. Damn it, Cor Coral. What? What's the what's the pun behind that, guys? Let me know what that what that pun, uh, pun is about. Let's bounce. Alright, let's uh, metamorphize it. Can I get any... Uh... Oh, it's a dog, yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, no, it's Corporal Critter. I don't know if that's considered a dog. Probably not. How hungry? I'm empty to the core, oh my goodness. Who made this? All the j -Mod puns, bro. All these dad jokes. What an apple do. What is apple? Something where you eat the outside and throw the core away. <laughs> so there is actually a hidden change to the Blood Fairy that is actually quite profound. It wasn't mentioned in the poll suggestion. It wasn't mentioned in the updates as far as I read. And this changes 
if you hit a zero, you will not actually lose a charge. Previously, you would do only 10,000 hits. Even if there were zeros, it would still count towards using a charge, but now it does not. So that is really uh, awesome because you are actually making the Blood Fury last a bit longer now because zeros don't count. So that's really nice. I can see, like, let's say you're learning, I don't know, God Wars, right? Like Zam or Bandos or something. It will actually be decently worth it. It's expensive to use, sure. But there, if you only use it on the boss itself and bring like a torture switch or something, right? I could imagine the Blood Fury lasting, honestly, like 30, 40, maybe even 50 hours, which might make it worthwhile for learners. Feels weird eating less, cause I'm I'm so used to like a particular eating rhythm, but right now the blood fairy's throwing it off. Just cause I'm eating a lot less than what I normally would, you know. So the blood fairy heals on average six percent whatever you hit, and it's pretty easy to kind of figure out what the average uh, heals you'll get back based on what you kill. So at corp it's two thousand HP, six percent of that is one twenty. So on average, I should be saving about seven Karen blunts. I kept track of how many food I ended up using for quite a bit of kills. What I picked up on the ground was a bit varied. So the least I picked up on the ground was 7 Karen Bonds, and the most I picked up on the ground was about 20. So on average, I picked up about 13 extra Karen Bonds, totaling about slightly under 30 Karen Bonds per kill. Before the Blood Fury came along, I think I was using around 35 or so. So yeah, it checks out. I save about 7 current bonds, which is really good because not only do I save food, the kills are a bit faster because that's 7 less things I have to eat, so that means, you know, less cooldown overall. And it's pretty significant, you know, that's quite a few seconds every kill saved, which adds up a lot. Ooh, Onyx Bolts. Alright. Now we use, we have 37 food and we only use 7 food that kill. Wow, that was crazy. That was incredible. Incredible kill. Holy crap, bro. Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell did I just heal? I just hit a 50-50? Holy crap. I don't even know what it, what I just healed. Like a 20 or something? That was crazy, man. Since zeros do not reduce charges, I now need to figure out the new charge amount used. It should be slightly less, although I rarely hit zero since, you know, it's defensive zero. And the average was around 80 charges, so that means one whole blood shard lasts about 120 to 125 kills. That is about 17 to 18 hours of blood fury before it runs out. So it's pretty worth it for me considering, you know, I save quite a bit of food and the kills are a lot easier and quicker. And also I do just AFK for my blood shard when I'm just not really playing the game, so it's technically several time for me to get the shard that way, so it's worthwhile. Oh, finally, bro, the first cannonball drop, man. I was worried. I was worried I wouldn't get any, man, because that's that's the main thing right now, you know. Besides uniques, we need to get some cannonballs. Okay, the fury has degraded once again. This is the second blood shard that we've consumed, but the first one after the buff, so. Ooh, Monka. Damn, that was crazy, bro. You saw that shit when all the splashes almost stacked me out, bro? God damn, I was... My butt was clenching there. Jesus. Alright, well, we still got four more shards, and honestly, I'm probably gonna get some more in the future, because, yeah, I just love AFK in there, honestly. Such good AFK. But yeah, we'll just, uh, make another one. Let's consume the third one, but... I guess for this third one, I want to use it all at Nightmare. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use that Nightmare. I think I'm going to start off using it as a side switch. What I mean by that is I'll bring it alongside the torture uh, and try to find like the right times, you know, quote unquote, right, right times to use it and see if it can enhance my kills, enhance my, my trips somehow. So one of my friends by the name of Bon found a really weird glitch where Dark Bolt auto attacks can actually do damage to these fires. You're not supposed to be able to hit them with things that aren't the flail, if I remember correctly. I tested it with like Twisted and stuff, it didn't work. So for some reason, Dark Bolt works. Alright guys, let me show you guys the uh, max hit 
difference between the Bluff Fury or just the Fury, same stats, and Torture. So, uh, with the Torture, it's 54, but with the Fury, it is a 53. So, yeah, man, losing one max hit is pretty, pretty uh, significant in, in the you know bad way. Okay, here we go. Torture with a Scythe. It should be a 48. And we're going to use the Blood Fury. It should be a 48. Yeah, so at least with the Scythe, it's the same max hit. But here's the catch. With the Scythe, I can hit three times. And any hit that isn't a zero will drain the stat. So if three of the hits from the single Scythe Swipe hits a number, that's three charges down the drain. Yeah, I'm going to have to really find a balance, you know, between... <laughs> How to use this Blood Fury and, and a Nightmare, so. Alright. That's pretty nice, like, putting on the Blood Fury for the D2H could be a, a pretty good play, to be honest. I'm gonna test it out. Also the SGS as well. I'm gonna try and see if I can stack a SGS heal on the Sleepwalker with the Blood Fury, because I can theoretically heal like a 40-something with that combo, so... Alright, time to use the scythe and uh, burn through charges. Oh boy. Damn, the procs are crazy, but... Okay, let me see. Watch this. Alright, 9... 9981, right? Oh my god. In two hits, I've already lost four charges. But damn, the scythe heals though. It's going in. Holy crap. Yeah, it makes sense because, I mean, it's 20%, right? So that means I have a three hits chance to heal. That's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, so I guess we'll just use the Blood Fury when I'm extremely low HP. You know, I, I think 70 is like really comfortable and I can also bounce out. Not over uh, healing and wasting the charges. So I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Alright guys, we just got our first kill with the slightly modified setup and uh, I used... 74 charges on the fury and we got a really good kill i mean you know rng of course it's not like this fairy is really going to change the times or anything it's just more about is it going to make stuff like two kill trips very comfortable and whatnot so here's my supplies uh the bruise that's the biggest sign and i had one mantle left and a phoenix necklace so here is a potential two kill trip setup for solo where the kill times are actually going to be good and the supply cost isn't going to be any much different than what I would do if it was separate. And we're going to bring two bombs and one sand few. That's definitely going to be enough for two kills. More than enough. And yeah, I wish I could bring more sand fuse, but I, I, that's the biggest thing is that I can't afford to use more than one sand few for two kills. Alright guys, second kill. Man, that was rough. Again. We used a bell. Yeah, like 180 charges. So, oh, damn. You know what's good, though, about two kill trips is that sometimes this happens and I get a lot of food. But, yeah, I wonder what happens, though, you know, going forward on kills where I don't get a lot of food. So, guys, I do need to let you know that I procced three things at the same time. SGS, Sang Staff, and Bluff Air at the same time. And I think I gained, like, probably close to 60 HP. Disgusting. Oh, did I get that crazy heal or what? I think I just got the crazy uh, heal stack, actually. So I've done many two kill trips now and I have yet to fail a single one using the Blood Fairy strategy. It's really nice. I am not even using the Blood Fairy that often. I only put it on when I have to heal. Once in a while, I need to put it on on P1 or P3 with the site to heal quickly, but rarely. And uh, yeah, I basically prioritize most of my healing on P2 because that's the phase I just don't want to waste time, you know, drinking potions or whatever. I just want to keep hitting the boss hard. And I only use about 130 charges per Nightmare Soul on average, which is a lot less than I thought. Because what that means is I can do anywhere from 70 to 80 solo Nightmares per Blood Fury. And that's like give or take 25 hours of use at nightmare longer than even corpse so yeah it actually blew me away and the kill times are pretty much the same because i'm not losing a max hit when i use the scythe you know i'm still getting like 16 17 minute average kills so it's amazing oh my god what was that heal guys 
What did you guys see? I didn't get to catch it, but that was pretty big. What was that? 16? What is the drop? Oh, Cerebrus. Holy shit. Alright, we're good on food. <laughs> we don't even have to use the Blood Fairy at this rate. Oh my god, what was that heal, guys? Tell me what it was, please. That looked like a really big heal. Oh yeah, that was a big heal too. Dude, back-to-back -back crazy heals with the uh, with the scythe. That was crazy. So each individual hit has a 20% chance to heal. And sometimes the scythe, you know, can proc multiple times with one swipe. So in this instance, I heal 19. So it's not possible to heal 19 from one splat. It was a combination of two hits proccing to get that heal. So in order to do the two kill trip method like really nice and ensure that I don't like mess it up and have to bail out mid kill, I have to use the scythe a lot. Primarily on, you know, the second phase, but sometimes I gotta use it on the first and third phase a bit as well. So yeah, we're gonna have to charge this bad boy up again. Uh, it's it's okay because I usually do enough AFK anyways that I can easily upkeep the charges overall. And I also, of course, have money to buy more should I have to. So yeah, let's just charge up the scythe once again. So one blood shard at Nightmare is gonna take actually a long time to use up. Like at my rate, it'll take over a week to use up one. And I can easily AFK probably enough to get another one back and also have time to AFK blood runes as well. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, guys. I can definitely keep doing this method if I want to. And yeah, it will work out very comfortably. So that was a really nice two kill trip. I still have two Sanfu doses left, which is really good. Oh my god, I just got a Nightmare Staff, the third one. Oh yes, baby. Third staff, that means we're all wrapped up on them staffs. Let's go. Hell yeah. But we don't have an orb for it. But, you know, that's what we're looking for, man. We're looking for that last orb. Hell yeah, dude. We got our third staff. Oh my goodness. I'm, like, looking back at this clip and I did not realize I actually healed a 21 with the Dragon Claw spec. It clocked so many times, I ended up healing 21. Like three times in one of the claw specs. One more hit. Damn, that's crazy, I'm out. Okay, the Blood Fairy finally degraded. So the two kill trip method is actually saving me quite a bit of time. I can now go from three kills an hour to about three and a half kills an hour because of less banking to have to do. So yeah, pretty big deal. So I will definitely continue to use the Blood Fairy going forward for these two grinds, 100%. It worked out so well. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have... Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.